What are the important conclusions and observations about your club in round 12? We reviewed each of the matches and presented a range of speaking points for all 18 clubs. The following will not apply to every club every week, but will form the basis of our views. Key takeout, they can't be stopped overreaction positive negative nobody is talking about what key takeaway crows are certified home road bullers no one can get away from the gleaming football that Adelaide has brought home this year. This latest defeat to Gold Coast highlights that although Matthew Nick's team can play well as an away team, they don't have the maturity to bring in four quarters yet. And even with competition, it costs them in winnable games. Adelaide now faces a tough battle to reach the final, and will have to upset at least one club, if not more, if they play in September in 2023. Negative workalike tag gone last year, Adelaide made her brand as tough a team as anyone else in football. Classy teams can beat the Crows, but feel be rotten as a result. Since round six this year, Matthew Nick's side has won controversial ownership number just once, hitting it from Park against Suns in that department over weekend. Admittedly, Adelaide's handling of the ball is better than it has been in a long time, but in recent weeks it has come at a significant expense to one of the club's biggest assets. Why is no one talking why can't the Blues score? Fremantle started 2023 playing a slow style, struggling to move the ball and failing to score. However, Justin Longmuir and his coaching staff have managed to figure this out, step up their game and get the Dockers back on track to play the finals. Why didn't Michael Voss and his coaching team manage to do the same? The Blues seem to be in the swamp and the ball movements and scoring struggles are getting worse. Where does he leave Voss as the year progresses? The undroppables Brody Kemp Brody Kemp had his best career game against Melbourne on Friday night, playing as a third tall hurdler. He got some exposure last week in Lewis Young's key defensive role, but when Young returned to the team, Kemp was released, taking 10 points, three of which were contested. Kemp's performance has surpassed anything seen from Mitch McGovern in past few months, and it will leave you wondering if the Blues continue to play four tall players on defence. What they need to adjust does Harry have to play in the ruck? Tom de Koning fought well in the absence of Mark Pitonet, but when Jack Silvani had to run against Brody Grundy, Melbourne took full control of the stances. While Essendon is likely to bring Carlton out this week in a similar fashion, as Sam Draper and Andrew Phillips, should the Blues at least throw Harry McKay to break it? It seems they don't believe ruckman Alex Murkoff is an option yet, and it probably doesn't end well against Silvana Draper or Phillips. NIC Negropontis positive Darcy Cameron in full flight the Magpies would be thrilled.